When short swords were added to Assassin's Creed Valhalla in August 2021, the community's prayers were finally answered. However, over the last year, we've gone from having just a few new short swords to more than we could ever need. So with that in mind, here are the best five short swords currently in Assassin's Creed Valhalla and how you can get them. Starting with the Hero's Sword. This lovely looking blade has increased assassination and stealth damage when equipped, making it definitely worth getting your hands on. This one actually debuted in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so it's rather fitting that we'd obtained it from when, spoiler alert, Eivor meets Cassandra. You can obtain this upon travelling to the Isle of Skye, which if you're still enjoying the main storyline, you'll first need to reach level 4 with your settlement of Ravensthorpe in England, as you'll then speak to Valga and Edit, who will then send you to the Isle of Skye. Once there, it's located in the Dunton camp, inside a locked chest which you'll need two keys to get into, each of which that are held by some nearby guards. It looks great though, and I really enjoy the small Ava and Cassandra arc, so get out there and become the hero you were born to be. Next up, we have Basim's Sword, which again is a gorgeous looking weapon and one-handed scimitar. This one will increase attack when parrying and increase speed after a dodge, basically all of the things you'll find yourself doing when in a fight, so this one is in my opinion one of the most useful weapons in the entire game. Now this one was a little different to obtain than usual, as Ubisoft set the community a challenge in December 2021, which was for all players to get 250,000 kills. If you missed this at the time though, not to worry, as you'll be able to purchase Basim Sword from the Ubisoft Connect store for a measly 100 units. You'll get these coins from raising levels through earning XP in any Ubisoft game, so if you haven't yet purchased anything using these coins, it's very likely you've got enough already. Next up we have the Gilded Edge Sword, which in my opinion has one of the most interesting perks in the entire game. A beam of light is called down upon an enemy after 5 special attack hits, perfect when taking on some of those larger enemies. Unfortunately, and there is going to be a bit of a trend here, you can only obtain this one from either purchasing the Radiant Pack in the game store for a thousand helix credits, or keeping an eye on Redder's shop and hoping it's up for sale. This is a great shame, as I'm never a fan of having to spend real cash just to enjoy a weapon, but do remain patient. I purchased this from Reddit a few months ago, and I'm sure eventually you'll be able to as well. Moving on, we have the Thundering Edge Sword, which again not only looks great, especially when equipped alongside another godlike weapon like Mjolnir or Gungnir, but the perk will increase critical damage when in combat, while the bonus decreases the longer you remain in combat. So the quicker you kill your enemies, the stronger you're gonna be. Sadly, Assassin's Creed Valhalla are really striving to get your hard-earned cash, as this one is part of the Raging Storm pack from the Animus store for another 1000 Helix credits. If you've got the cash though, or even your parents' credit card, this is in my opinion one of the best looking short swords you can own, and especially perfect to use when playing as Odin. Again, do keep an eye on Redder for this one, I just want to know where he's getting all of these weapons from. And finally, we come to a sword with one of the coolest and strongest perks in the game, the Broken Blade Sword. With this one, fragments explode outward from Eivor, dealing area damage when parrying, as well as pushing enemies back. So, perfect if you're fighting near an edge. Now, not only is this one super strong, but it looks awesome. You can see all of these fragments of the weapon suspended in midair, which gives me serious shards of Narsal vibes from Lord of the Rings. Again though, this one is either found in the Ubisoft store and is part of the Broken Blade pack, or you'll have to hope Reddit is feeling kind and has it up for sale. Now I know, I know, these last three swords unfortunately are hidden behind paywalls or hiding with Redder. It is worth mentioning though that one good free alternative to these last three weapons is the Vidal Gilling Sword, which you can get from completing the free Discovery Tour Viking Age. If you need any info on this, then just check out my video at the link above, and I'll also leave a link down in the description too. There's also loads of great cosmetic items you obtain from this as well, so in my opinion it is worth spending your time completing. And of course, there are a bunch of solid short swords in the Siege of Paris DLC too, which if you're still wondering about whether it's worth the purchase, do take a peek at my honest review to help you make that decision. And hey, if you like this video about the best short swords, then why not check out my next video for the best 5 axes in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'll hopefully catch you legends in the next one.